Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I still remain your girl, Ada Jesus. Ada Wanchuku in the building. You guys are so amazing. Cast your body in unto the Lord. Who do you want to cast your body in? Do you want to cast it to man? He said it is better for you to put your trust in God than to put your trust in man. Without wasting your time, as we all know that my platform is to update you of what is going on and to encourage you with the word of God. Guys, we can't do without God. Only God can do what no man can do. Be strong in the Lord and never you give up. Straight to my today topic, cast your body. You see, that person you look like, the person is everything. The person you trust. The person you believe. That without that person, you cannot live. You are casting your body into that person. You believe in that person. You put your trust. You hope in that person. You are seeing yourself that you cannot do without him. You cannot do without her. You are seeing that person like that person is everything. You are seeing that person like the person I mean is so amazing. Fine, that person might be nice to you. But that does not mean that you will put your trust in him. That does not mean that you will believe in her. That does not mean that you will cast your body. You don't have to cast your body into him. You don't have to. You are making a mistake. You see, the year is about to end. It's a hard time we start, you know, correcting ourselves. It's a hard time we start, you know, looking onto those things that is causing setback. That is bringing delay in our life. That has kept us in a spot that we cannot move forward. It's hard that we start putting one or two things, you know. Start asking ourselves questions. Because the best advice is the one you advise yourself. It is very clear. Cast your body onto me. Cast your body. He did not say cast your body to someone. He said cast your body. Without going further... I want to make it clear. Let me just break it. Watch and see the way I'm breaking it. Then you will know who you will cast your body. Okay, let's see. Cast your body. I read Psalm 55, verse 22. Cast thy body upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Cast their body upon the Lord. He did not say, cast it on me. Cast it on he. Cast the body to somewhere else. He said, cast the body upon the Lord. You see, at times, it's not really maybe what we are seeing. It might be our own mistakes, what we are doing, or what we must have done. You know, that is affecting us. But we believe that, ah, uh, that, uh, I mean, it might be maybe what this person did. Maybe it might come from here or, you know, it might come from, you know. But we don't know that it's the person that we discuss our issue with. It's the person that we put our trust. It's the person that we believe. Bible make it clear. Say, believe in me and my word. Whatever you ask shall be given. It do not say you should believe in me or you should believe in him. Or you should believe in she. Yeah, I appreciate that person. The person might be nice to you. Yes, I appreciate that person. But don't see that person like your God. Don't forget. Cast your body. In. Cast your body in upon the Lord. You, are, you have been casting and casting. It's not coming out. You have been casting nothing. You believe that by casting it to this person. Is the right place or is the right step that you are taking. But you don't know that you are making a mistake. He said, better his word will not remain the seven and eight shall pass away. That is it. Cast your body upon the Lord. I don't know whom I'm talking to. The year is about to end. It might be your friend. It might be whosoever. It might be the person that you trust that has been helpful to you. It might be the person, you know, that is very nice to you, to your family. Yeah. God used someone to be a blessing to you. That is why he said you will find favor in the sight of God and the sight of man. 
Your destiny helper does not mean that that person is your God. It's what God cannot come down to do. Then God will direct someone to favor you. Because God cannot come down to do it. God cannot come down to work the work that you will work. God cannot come down to give you that thing that you're supposed to collect in your hand. For instance, maybe you want to buy something. You don't expect God to open your purse or open your bag to remove money. You will do it yourself. Or you will send someone to buy it for you. But what God will do, He will direct you to the decision, the step that you will take. He will direct you. He will direct you. He said, for I directed the step of the righteous and my eyes is upon them. He will direct you. You know, there are people that God is directing them, telling them what to do. For them, it might look foolish. It might look stupid. It might not look, I mean, really. Are you sure it's God that is directing me? Are you sure it's God that is speaking? Are you sure this is God? But for you, God's ways are not your own ways. For you, it might look stupid. For you, it might look, I mean, this thing is fake. But you don't know that his ways are not our ways. Instead of you to follow the direction of God, you are following the direction of your friend. You are following the direction of the wrong person. You are following the direction that will lead you to hell. You are following the direction because of what you are gaining. Because of maybe yeah, your, the, your position, you want to be star. You want the world to know you. You believe that following this person, I mean, it's your God. Telling this person, I mean, your problem. The sky is your limit. You being close to this person, you are everything. Your body has been taken away. Your body has been removed. That is why I read this word of God. Let it not be like I'm speaking on my own. So that you will know that it's very clear. If you are this type that you are making a mistake, what if that person is not there? Maybe you wake up one day just like that, you know, you didn't see that person, you didn't hear from him, you didn't hear from her, you don't even know her whereabouts, she might change her number, she might not be even there for you any longer. Ask yourself this question. This person that I, 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 I trust so much, this person that I, I look or I see like everything, it's a hard time, I advise myself. What of if that person is not there? What of I didn't see that person anymore? Won't I cope? How am I going to? How am I going to cope? Is it not better I cast it? Cast it in the right hand. Is it not better I, I mean, I take the right step? Cast that burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. Is it not better I cast it upon the Lord so that he will sustain me? God will send a helper to you. He will send your destiny helper. But he did not send your destiny helper for you to worship him or for you to worship her. He did not send your destiny helper for you to be casting your body. Any minute, ah, sister, hey, are you there? Ah, something just happened. Hmm. You can't believe it, sister. Ah, brother, ah. You can't believe, bro, see what's in the happen, you know? Any second, any minute, whatever that happened, you cast it. To the wrong person, then you are there, crab that you are casting and you are losing, nothing is working. That person might disappoint you at any time because you are casting the body to the wrong person. So I am here now to encourage you because I don't want you to make the same mistake. I am here to encourage you to move to the next level because I know the time has come for you to take what belongs to you, whether the devil like it or not. The time has come for you to enter into the next level. No one can stop you. Because I know that the time has come for things to turn around for your good. Because I know that the time has come for you to move to that, I mean, that place that you're supposed to be. The time has come for you to take it by fire, by force. Do you know what? The children of God suffer violence. And in violence, they take it by force. So you are taking it by force, whether the devil like it or not. Whosoever that is the wrong person in your life, that you have been casting your body, that you have been doing the wrong thing, today mark the end. Both the body and the wrong person. 
Because the word of God is clear. The word of God is clear. Go read it. Go and read it. The book of Psalm 55. Verse 22, cast your body upon the Lord. As you do so, you will bless. Speak to yourself and say, I will no longer cast it to man. No matter the difficult, no matter the circumstances, I will allow the Holy Spirit to guide me, to direct me. I will cast it upon the Lord. For I know and I know that he shall sustain me. He will never suffer the righteous to be moved. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your like. If you have not subscribed in my channel, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. If I'm in live stream, follow me in my midnight prayer. Follow me in my prayer. This is a time of prayer. This is a time of prayer. You have to take it by force. Don't forget to press the bell notification so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. And if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. You guys are so amazing. Thanks for being there with me. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for your like. Thanks for your comment. You guys are so amazing. Please drop your comment. If there's any issue, there's anything you want me to, to treat, I am here for you and you are here for me. Without God and without you, we will not be here. Like the video. Share the video. Thumbs up to your girl. Like, like, subscribe, and press the bell notification. Go and be blessed once again. Merry Christmas. Give a distance. Take the necessary precaution. Go and be blessed. Bye-bye. I love you, child.